Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we've got this ceiling fan. It's a Harbor Breeze. It's from Lowe's um, Builder Series. It's a 52 inch white finish ceiling fan. Um, it says functions beautifully. Well, as it should. It's brand new. Uh, so, what I want to do is I've I've installed a bunch of these in the past, a lot of them, and uh, it's real simple. But for the do-it-yourselfer that's never installed one, I think you'd be all right. Just make sure your power's off, and uh, I'll show you what to do first. We're going to do this step by step together. That way, you know how to do it. Um, this is a uh, flush mount. It it it. It's not going to have the rod to bring it down lower. It's a flush mount, also known as a hugger to some people because um, it hugs the ceiling. But let's get this opened up. Let's see what's in it, and we'll go from there, and I'll show you what to do. Okay, guys. This is just some specifications here. Um, shows you what to do. It's like uh, a lot of people, when they have their ceiling fan on in the summer, they have it blowing down on them. And they just keep it that way. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not what a ceiling fan is supposed to do. Okay. The ceiling fan, like here, it, it shows you airflow with normal rotation and then the cool weather airflow so what you're supposed to have it do is in the summertime you're supposed to have it running backwards yes that's right you're supposed to have it running backwards that sucks the hot air up and helps keep the hot air up above you and in the winter time you should have it blowing down because heat rises so you know you want to keep that heat down below you know down to your level so that's what the, that's kind of explaining there but a lot of people don't know that but anyway so let me get my knife here let's get this opened up I should put my mic on hang on I'm gonna put my mic on okay I I put my mic on the camera that way you're not getting a left and right bad sound effect going on there so let's open this up this is an LED does so it does come with the light nothing but the best for the shop right eh, 50 bucks so I just wanted something just to kind of help it'll help me both in the summer and in the winter it'll help keep my uh, heat down here in the winter and heat up there in the summer which that's why I keep the attic open all winter long because it helps suck suck the air up out now what monkey thought I should do which I'm not going to do today because I want to get this up this is all your all your paperwork and everything here's your instructions these are pretty detailed instructions you should have everything you need here except for maybe a couple of tools so it should come with all the hardware and all that that you're going to need but anyway so what monkey suggested that I do she thinks I should paint these up since they're already white well see you got this this side too so I can have this side pointing down or this side which we'll have this side pointing down because it's all white in here anyway but what she she said I should do is paint black checkers in here make it look like a checkered flag on these we'll get we'll, we'll do that sometime but um, we're not gonna do it today okay so always make sure you get all your parts they should have a parts parts list in the uh, in the instruction guide there which we'll get to in a minute this is your chains you know your pull chains for your light and your fan this is one of your your uh, your mounts okay so it should go something like that this is to hang your fan this hook here a lot of people don't know what it's for but it's to hang your fan while you're hooking your wires up we'll get to that too okay so you've got these are for your um, for your fan blades to hold your fan blades on. 
there's your wire nuts that's all you're going to need I mean for that for that part let's go ahead and open this up and we'll get to the working end of it and there it is okay there's your your light here's your fan these here are for your fan blades they will of course screw on here with these screws that are provided okay now hopefully this is not going to be I got a 52 inch I was going to get a 54 and I thought well the doors over there so hopefully we'll have enough you know enough room in between there and then this will bolt this bolts on like that see? see that's what that hook does it hooks it like that once you get this mounted it'll hook it and hold it while you hook up your wires and then you'll you'll bolt it in so okay so there's that and this is supposed to be an LED light so let's check this out oh, that's uh, not pretty thick there ain't it wow so I'm down good way so there's the LED light there's that piece that'll go on here okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get these instructions out <coughs> excuse me and I'll get them opened up and I'll show you pretty much what they consist of hang it hang on a second okay now here's the instructions it's got your your safety inf <coughs> excuse me your safety information your package contents okay now that's going to show you everything you get okay it shows you every little part and piece that comes with this kit okay so that's what I was telling you about there. It's all labeled. Everything what it's called. There's your hardware. Which we saw those. We saw the blade screws. The fiber blade washer. And the wire connectors. Okay so. Let's see we've got 8 foot ceilings in here. So we're going to need 30 inches. That way which I think I will have. I'm not sure. I gotta check I think it'll miss that door if not I may have to move it over and box it in but and you need it you know you want seven feet tall which we're going to have because uh, eight foot ceilings I figure that's going to drop down about a foot so and here it shows you all your your initial your installation how you go about it I don't know if I'm going to have to see there it's it's showing you about your J hook how you can hook that and so it'll it'll hang there while you're hooking up your wire so you don't try to try and so you're not trying to hook the wires up and hold it at the same time so and it tells you you know of course you'll need black tape they want you to tape them off <clears throat> um, which I remember they used to used to not tell you that if you had a wire connector you were good to go but I always tape mine off when I can anyhow um, sometimes in tight spots it's near impossible but so yeah it's pretty pretty detailed um, the thing about what it's not gonna it's not gonna tell you is uh, if you have to box it in you know if you have to build a 2 before box to, to have something for this to mount to so like I said I may have to move it over but we'll just have to see once I get the old light fixture taken down but yeah it's it's pretty detailed now if you get into that you know you you might need some carpentry skills so but there's that so what we're going to do is I'm going to put you up here towards the ceiling and well I got to get my ladder and then we're going to uh, we're going to take the old light fixture down and we're going to see if I have to uh, if I have to move it over or what it's going to take because you can't just you can't just um, 
you know, you're not going to be able to just uh, screw this on to drywall. You know what I mean? You can't, it's just not going to hold it. You're going to want, you know, some kind of two before. You're going to want to be into something. And I'm not sure if that has that on that light or not. I don't think so. I just have to get up there and see. And this is, this is, of course, where your wires are going to come down through. We'll get into all that. So let me see what we got going on up there. And again, this is what's going to hold that big piece on there, the cover. So let me get that, let me get my ladder, get my light fixture down. And then we'll commence to commencing. Okay, so, all right, guys. Okay, something else I wanted to show you. There's three different ways you can wire this fan up. You can have the fan and light controlled by pull chains. You can have the fan controlled by pull chains, light controlled by switch, or get this open here. You can also have it the fan and light controlled by two wall switches. Now I do have two wall switches over there, but one goes up into the attic, and I don't want to get up in there and mess around too much. There's too many spiders up there. So I'm just going to hook it up like this because it's going to it's it's going to be a, a wall switch. It's just going to work like the light that's there when I flip it on. It's going to have power to the fan, and then I'll just use the pull switches. Now, you know, like I said, your application may may be may differ, so you may want to consult an electrician if you don't know how to run uh, two wall switches. But you can also have it this way. You have to make sure you have the wiring there that is for that. Um, so just be mindful of that but I'm just gonna hook mine up to where I'm just gonna be running the pool switches and so as long as you know I flip the light on there then I can pull the switch to turn the light on I can pull the switch to turn the fan on whatever so just be mindful of that okay so alright I got my ladder ready and let's get up there and pull that old light down hopefully I don't get attacked by a spider again but we'll see Okay guys, I know there's a shadow here, but I got the lights off here. This is dead. This power's dead. So hopefully you can see okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull this down. There should be a box in here that is what's going to screw these onto, but I may have to move this over to the other side. There's a a rafter up there, ceiling joist, if you will, um, that holds the box. And this is, and you're going to screw, you're going to mount the uh, chip. Okay, you're going to mount the uh, the fan unit onto that box. So I may have to get longer screws. I may have to, well, I'm pro I know I'm going to have to get some washers. Yes, there is a box here. Okay. Alright, I don't see a ground wire. Alright, I don't see a ground wire on this thing. I'll tell you what, these old... These old bulbs, man, I forgot just how hot they get. You know, I'm used to running fluorescent or LEDs anymore. And kind of makes you forget about how hot these things do get. Now the green wire, I'm probably going to have to run up in there somewhere. And I'm going to have to hook onto a ground. Okay, so we got this down. So we have to take this screw all the way out. And I'm gonna I've got some washers over there. I'm gonna put some washers on it. And I'll show you what I did. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to run a ground wire up through there. I'm gonna have to get up in the attic. I don't want to, but you'll get the idea of what's going on here as soon as I get this up here. So hang tight, let me get a couple washers and I'll show you what's next. So there's my flat washer on there and it's going to go in these slotted holes like that and that is what it does. 
see? Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to get up there and I'm going to put this on. Like I said, I'm going to have to run another wire up into the attic. I'm not going to bore you with that because all it is is ground wire. So let me get you zoomed back in. Now remember, these wires here have to come down through this hole like this. They come down through that big hole. And you should be able to see usually you might might have better lighting than me but there's a little right there where that box is that's where the screws go um, this is a plastic box so I'm not going to use any kind of power tools on this because I don't want to strip them out you can if you're careful but I don't want to teach you guys that and then go well you did it which I normally don't anyway so if it's plastic I'm not gonna I'm not using any kind of power tools on it so they can be fiddly just gotta have some patience like I said I may have to move this box onto the other side of this tube before and hopefully if I do that hopefully it'll cover this hole so I don't have to do any finish work on the ceiling. There we go. Now I'm moving mine all the way as far over as I can get. Sure that's up there because these fans they got some weight to them remember they're just going to be hanging so you want them you want them to be on something solid okay yeah that's very solid i just hope it's going to clear the door now i'm going to come get you and i'll show you what i did here Okay, now hopefully you guys can see it's okay. There's a screw here and a screw here. Well, like I said, I'm going to have to run because there's another green wire onto the fan motor that this is going to hook onto, and then I'm going to have to run another green one up in through there and up into the attic. And all I'm going to do is hook into what's uh, the ground that's up in the attic is all I'm going to do with that. So... Let me go ahead and get that run at least up in there and then I'll connect it later. I don't need to show you that because I'm just going to run it into another green wire that I know is up there. Uh, why it's not grounded, I don't know. Um, you would you would have thought it would have been code even in 1994, but we'll just have to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang the motor from here, right here. But first, I got to run me a green wire up in there so it can be grounded. Hang tight, guys. And then I'll bring you over and I'll show you how this is all hooked up. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and hang this on that hook. On this side here is a slotted hole. On this side is a round, a round hole. You're going to want to hang it into the slotted hole. like that and it's just going to hang there now we're going to hook our wires up it's all self-explanatory okay I'll show you here in a second how they go okay so we're going to hook the white up to white because I have some extra ones here you may not have but they run the uh, they run the uh, fluorescent light that is right above your guys's head that is not turned on so make sure you have nothing showing and put your wire nut on okay now the the blue and the 
black one. The black, they're all labeled, like the blue one's the light. The black one's the motor, which that's going to be your, your hot wires. We're going to wire them right in with the black wires because I want the light to come on. I want it to have power when I flip the switch on. Okay? So that's why I'm, like I said, your application may be different if you're running two switches. You're going to run that blue wire to another switch. But this one's just getting all switched on one, and then I will use the chains for that. Also, if you don't have a green ground wire, it may be bare. Don't be alarmed if you got a bare wire up in there. That'll be your ground. That's what you'll hook the green up to. Okay? And I'll bring you down here and I'll show you. I need to clip this. If they're too long for your wire nut to go on, just clip a little bit of it off and put your wire nut on. And I didn't get these right. Hang on. Now I'm going to show you exactly how they are. Hang on. Okay, you guys probably didn't hear much of what I said. I've got the mic turned around backwards. Uh, but hopefully you'll get the idea. This is what I've done. Greens go to greens. Like I said, yours may be, it may be just a bare wire. It might just be a copper wire. That's your ground. Your black wires go together. And that's where my light's going to go. If you're just using one switch, this is where you're going to hook it up. Your black wires and your blue is going to go into your black wires. And then your white is your neutral, and it's just going to go to white. But like I said, now I got two extras because they run that fluorescent light over there. Yours may just have three wires come out coming out of it, so don't be alarmed if it's different. So now what we're going to do? This is how that hook hooks on, hooks on just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to flip this right up in there, and we're going to put. Our nuts and washers, they're nylocks, which is a locking nut, and they lock by nylon. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to put you back on the stand, turn the mic around this time. And we're just going to go ahead and put this up in there, tighten it down, and then we'll see. Now these screws here is what covers your, your, uh, your plate, your, your cover, you know, you'll see. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. I'm going to put one blade on it just to see if it's going to clear that door because I need 30 inches. I'm looking at like 28 or 29 here. So, all right, so hang tight, guys. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these wires up in here out of the way, up inside that box, up through that hole. I'm just going to get the holes lined up with the rubber grommets. Make sure nothing's in the way. Now I'm going to put my flat washers on first and then the nut. Now these these nuts on this one are 10 millimeter. Yours may vary depending on the manufacturer, what they use, but so as you can see, we really haven't used many tools. You're going to need a screwdriver, a Phillips and a straight. Actually, you can probably just get by with a straight because these are either or on the fan for the fan blades. Okay, now let me get a fan blade and let's make sure it's going to clear that door. Now to put this piece on, see there's a slot. Back you out. Sorry about the lighting, but I have to have the power off. 
Okay, see on one side, there's a slot right there and a screw hole. Two screws are going to go on this side and two screws are going to go on the other side, but they're, if you can see, they're offset. So what I did was I took two screws out opposite of each other, diagonal, and left two screws in, but it left them loose. That way I can put it up on there and turn it and lock it in, then I'll put the other screws on. So we're going to go ahead and put that on now. I won't zoom you in as far this time. So you get an idea of what's going on. This stuff here is pretty self-explanatory. Now, I did lose one of the screws. It fell down here somewhere. Just make sure you get that little washer back here. That's your it's going to be your hardest part to try and get that washer back behind there. There we go. That should be behind. This one's behind. So we're going to just start this up on there. Start this one and turn it. Now I'm going to put one of the other screws in. I'll have to find the other one and put it in later but and of course you gotta find the hole. This is the most tedious part here guys. It's trying to find Okay, well, I took the wrong two out. All right, no big deal. Let me speed this up for you. Okay, now there's that. Now I've got to take all these screws out. Well, they want you to, but what I usually do is do one fan at a time because it can get confusing. Also, you want to put your fan blades together and I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay guys, again, very simple, very easy. Depending what side you want. This is the side I want pointing down, so you're gonna put this like this. Now if you want the other side pointing down, you'll put it like that. But since I'm going with white, it's gonna be like this. So I'm gonna put these three in there like that, and they give you these, these blade, what they're calling blade washers. They're just a flat washer. It's, um, it's like a fiber and all you're going to do is you put your washer on there you screw these on and you tighten them down don't get them super dyna whopping tight but you do want them snug because you don't want them coming off i've seen that happen that's a that's a story from several years ago let me back out a little bit here as you get the idea still got to find my other little screw to hold my decorative plate on and the other screws up on top like like I said they tell you to take them all out at once but if you do them holes look really confusing this is a five blade fan so all right, so what I've done is I've taken two out already because I had to see if it was going to fit okay, and it does. Now, I'll bring you up here, and I'll show you the best I can um, putting this on. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and put one on, and then I'll, I'll bring you up with the camera, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is what I was talking about. 
see that how many if you take them out they will get confusing so what I did was like take one of the two closest together and then go to the next one take it out put your fan blade on and then do that all the way around there so I'm gonna start I'm gonna take these two out and put a fan blade on these two out and put a fan blade on that way it's a lot easier than going wait a minute you know because then you got you know 10 holes up there that look all the same uh, I noticed on this one there's little there's little lock washers there and sometimes they'll stick to that okay so make sure when you take that screw out of there make sure you get the lock nut off or the lock washer off because it goes up inside there okay now I'm not gonna bore you with that because that's all I'm doing so the next thing you see we're gonna go ahead and put our light fixture on okay guys now we're gonna put this piece on where the globe is going to screw on to here. There's three holes here. You can't get it wrong. There's an indentation right here on this one. And there's also one right up here. Now what you're going to want to do is just line your chains up. And they're going to get, come out these little holes here on the side. Which looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass. But what isn't, right? So, <sighs> well, there's one. And the other one's going to come out this hole here. But I'm going to go ahead and put, it's got these three little screws in here. And there's three holes. Again, I'll show you once I get them in here. kind of a kind of a pain because you really can't see what's going on in there okay hang on I think I can put them chains in after let me just move this Okay, we got one. Now you're going to want to snug him up pretty good, but you can't go too tight because, again, they will, they will strip out on you. You don't want that. Because, remember, that's going to be holding your globe. Once you get the first one in, it's not so bad because you can see the other ones when they get started. All right. One more, and I'll show you. How these screws go in. Now, 
now we're going to run our chains down. I don't know why it tells you to run your chains in first when you got all this room to do to do this after. So. You can get different um, style lightings. You can buy these without the light and add your own light light fixture. I've seen them, you know, with like four lights, kind of like a chandelier coming down. You can get, you know, they're pretty versatile on the different things you can get. I got a switch on now, but so I don't want to pull that yet. But I'm going to go ahead and bring you up here and I'm going to show you how them screws are. Okay, so there's one there. There's one right back over there, and there's one on the other side. They're spaced evenly. And what they do is they come in through these holes here. One, two, one over here on the other side. That's three. And this is that divot I was talking about, so you can get them right. And again, your, your chains, they just... Uh, you just go through that hole and out and then you hook the other ones on now the light bulb just screws in and the lampshade just sticks on and screws in with these little divots here I don't know if you can see them when there's three of them and that's all that holds that lampshade on so I'm gonna put you on the stand I'm gonna screw the light in and then we'll uh, we'll put the shade on Again, this is an LED bulb, but you can go up to uh, 60 watts with a regular bulb. Now this, you just line them divots up with your light here, and you give it a turn. That's all it holds that on there. I don't like that, but it is what it is, right? So now, I'll show you how to put these little chains on here. Okay, now we're going to put our chains on. Just got one of these little little doohickeys here. You'll see it's self-explanatory. And you just slide that in there. There it is. Just like that. Now I'm going to put the other one on. And we're going to try this puppy out. And, uh, See how well it works. Okay guys, so we know the light works because it was on when we uh, turned or screwed the bulb in. So I think this is the light. Yes, that's the light. This should be the fan. Let's see which way it's going. I'm going to want it to suck the air up. So I'm going to want it going this way. Okay, and then in the winter time I'll have it blowing counterclockwise but I'm gonna be wanting wanting it to run this way so let's see and it is okay awesome that should be medium and that's low and I'm telling you what I can feel a difference man awesome let's shut this light out or shut shut this fan off and I'm gonna open the door and make sure and then I'll show you that switch I'll show you how to switch it to go like for summer and winter like I said a lot of people have it backwards they think they should have it blowing down on you but that's not how these things are supposed to work okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this all right we're gonna open the door there's the door. I'm just going to turn it with my hand. I think it's going to work. Great. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. Now, I'll show you that switch. All right. Shut the fan off so we don't chop our heads off. That switch is right there. Um, now, if you flip it down. You'll see it'll go the other way. Okay, but that's not the way I want it. That's going to be for winter time. That's going to blow whatever heat's coming up here. It's going to blow it back down on me. 
So I'm going to flip it back up there. And I'm going to leave it on low. There's high, medium, and low. And plus it gives more light, a lot more light than that little bulb did. And I mean, I can really feel it sucking that air up from there. So what I can also do is open the cat door. She never uses it. So I can open the cat door up if I want and I can, oh, I can feel cold air coming through there. Yeah. So what it'll do is it'll it'll suck the cold air in and the hot air up and out through there so all right let me get you on the stand and i'll let you know what i think about it okay guys so there you go that's um it's easier than what it looks um the instructions make it look a little harder but it's self-explanatory don't lose screws like i did i found the washer to that one screw but uh I didn't find the I didn't find the screw yet. Yes, I did. I just found it. Ah! All right, that holds that white cover on. Um, so I found it, and I've got the washer for it. Now they did give me one extra screw and washer, lock washer, for the blade, and they gave me one extra. Um, fiber it's just a flat washer blade washer they call it and screw for the blade that goes onto the mount um, but they don't give you an extra one for anything else and that's this one I found it and I did find the, the uh, washer uh, a little bit ago so it's real easy like I said I I don't usually have to use the instructions because I know the different wiring patterns once you do a couple of these they're all pretty much the same um, but I wanted to show you you know go ahead and do it step by step like they say we got lucky we didn't have to move anything got plenty of room uh, I don't like that it's not in the middle in the center of the garage I don't know why they would have ever put that light like they did I would have put it in dead center, but apparently there was a reason for it. I don't know, but I wouldn't have done it that way because that, that bothers me. But I'm telling you what, I got it on low. Right now, I can feel the cold air like coming up my back. So it is sucking the heat up and out the out the uh, into the attic, which it's vented. You know, the roof's vented, so um, it's got a ridge vent on the roof so yeah i can and and that's on low so and i can tell a difference with the light over in that area so yeah we're we're good to go oh, monkey's messaging me so we're good to go um thanks for watching guys if you have any questions on this leave them in the comment and i'll get back to you as soon as i can but i don't think you'll have any issue if you're any kind of if you've hung any kind of light before or anything like that if you're pretty handy around the house you can do this it's real simple uh, especially once you do one you know now if you're putting it on a slanted ceiling you're not going to you can't use that hugger you'll have to get a bar you know extension bar that comes down and brings your fan down to whatever you know however your pitch your ceiling is but that's just for a flat ceiling that's all we needed so that's what i got it was uh 49 bucks it ended up being 52 dollars i ordered it online through lowe's and uh, I was like, well, when's it going to be here? Next thing I know, I got an email saying it was ready. So we had to go pick it up. <laughs> but it's only a couple miles up the road. So that's good. Um, so we just went over and got it and picked it up. It was already paid for. They had it waiting for us. So, yeah, like I said, it was uh, $49 plus tax. It ended up being around $52. Good enough for, you know, what I need in here. So and I like I said I can, I can feel it. I've got the I've got the garage door open a little bit over there so I can feel it pretty good. Now our next uh our next one we're going to take the the um the light that's over the over the desk. We're going to put it here. We're going to take these down. We're going to put that light over here and then this light here. I've got two more shop lights. I was going to put one in the center and then monkey was like I said or I can put a fan here. She was like, "Yeah, just go ahead and get your fan." So, 
I'm going to put a different shop light here and this shop light here that doesn't match the other ones is going to go over there where the little uh, LED one is. So anyway, stay tuned for that. I'll probably do that while I'm vlogging or something. So anyway, I got to get back with Monkey here, see what's happening. And we'll chat at you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Remember, any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as humanly possible, and I'll help you out any way I can. So that being said, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, and uh, y'all enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. We need a little help singing on the count of three. One, two, three. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. Love you. <laughs>